In my previous video, I showed you how to add localization support to uh, user interface labels and to user interface images. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to add uh, localization support to other string values um, that um, we can use within our application. For example, let's assume that uh, when user taps on this run button, uh, we will, uh, based on some business logic, we will need to display an alert message. So that alert message, the content of that alert message cannot be easily um, localized through the user interface elements. And um, for that alert message, we will uh, use uh, string values which are stored inside of our project and can be different based on the code, on the business logic of our code. Okay, so uh, first of all, let's add, um, let's make our button clickable so that it can display alert message, which uh, can be customizable depending on the language our application is using. So I will um, hide my right side panel and open up Assistant Editor, and I will uh, select the button, hold Control button, click, drag, and drop into the View Controller. And for the connection, I will choose action. And uh, the name of my function will be run button. Oops, I have uh, Russian language selected. Uh, run button tapped. Okay, so when run button tapped, um, this function will be called. And now we need to display an alert message. First of all, we will uh, create um, a variable. Let's say this will be um uh, success message message and that will be a string value something like welcome and again this is just an example in your uh, case that might be uh, much more the business logic of it much can be much more complex so and then i will uh, create um, an alert and that will be ui alert um, controller and it will have oops sorry it will have a title uh, which it can be also localized um, I will hard code it for for now so our uh, title will be alert and the message will be the one here so it's message that we will be uh, localizing in this example and preferred style will be a UI, UI alert, um, UI alert controller style default alert. Uh, okay, so now we have an alert and we will need to add a button to it. And I will call it um, OK action equals UI alert action and it will also have a title uh, which will be a button label which we also can localize and I will for this example I will choose OK and UI alert action style will be default and handler will be nil for this example okay so now we have a button and uh, we need to add this button to our alert. So I will say my alert add action, and that will be okay, action. And finally, I will need to uh, present this alert to our user. So um, present view controller. So which uh, view controller we are going to present? It's going to be my alert animated true and completion handler will also be new okay so uh, let's run this example and see if it works uh, first of all okay we have our application up and running I click on run button and I have an alert message uh, with a message uh, welcome okay so now um, we, we will need to uh, localize, let's say, welcome message. 
and we can also do for uh, the title and for the title uh, button later. And uh, to uh, localize this message, we will need to create a new file. And I will go and select my localized app folder here, click on it, and choose new file. Uh, for the new file, I will go under iOS, and then I will choose resource, and under resource, I will choose string files, strings file. Next, and uh, the name of the file should be a uh, law. And it's very important that the name is localized, it's called localizable. We cannot give it just any name we want, otherwise Xcode will not find this file. So make sure you don't have typo here and you do not give it a custom name. And then I click on create. And now I have a new file uh, in my project, which is called localizable strings. Okay, for some reason it's um, white. Uh, anyways, okay, now we have a file and we will need to localize it. So I'll select the file and then I open up my right side panel here and I will click on uh, localize button for this file. And for the base, I'll click localize. And now I have options. I'm adding uh, Russian language support, so I'll choose Russian. So if I open this up, I now have two versions of this file, just like with my image. I have localizable strings for base and I have localizable strings for Russian language. And uh, here in this file, I will need to add key value pairs. So let's go to our view controller and uh, we'll copy welcome message here. So for the English language, um, I will create, let's say uh, this user interface is our um, sign up, user registration page. So I will uh, say uh, sign up page success message equals to welcome so that's for english language and that means that for sign up page the success message will be equal now i'll copy this and i'll go back to my um uh, russian language version and i'll paste the same key value but the message will be different so for line for russian language i will need to type a different message so it will be um like this okay now i have it and i will need to go back to view controller and change this to a different code and uh, i'm now i need to switch to english so to read the value of uh from this localizable strings file i will need to use a nest localized string so uh a nest localized string and there are a couple of versions uh, that I can choose from. So I'll choose the simple one, which accepts the key and the comment. So the key uh, for this uh, function is the one that we've created here. This one is the key. Sign up page success message. I'll copy it and go back to my view controller. And I will, this is the key. And the comment here is the comment for, um, a translator so if you are the one who is translating you can leave it empty but if you're asking someone to translate then um, you can write your comment here so for for now I'll just say this is a comment for my translator so uh, or, the, or that can be a comment uh, a success message user will see when sign up is successful uh something like this okay and uh now this should be it so when application is run um on a system that that has a russian language on uh, we should see uh, a value that comes from localizable uh, strings for russian language and we should see 
um, user should see this value. And for the English language, we should see a uh, welcome. Okay, so now uh, let me check uh, what schema I have selected. So now my application language is set to system language, which is default. Uh, so I should see um, welcome message first. Let me run this application to see how it's working. I get an error message. Let's go back. Uh, couldn't, couldn't be read because it isn't the correct format. Okay, I think it's because of uh, the semicolon I forgot to add here. Uh, now let me run it again. Build successful this time. And I see first name, last name. If I click on run, I get a welcome message. Okay, now uh, let me switch to a different language. So let me edit schema. And then for the run options application language, I'll choose Russian instead. Close it and run my application with the Russian language on. Okay, so interface is Russian. I click on push. And uh, I, I see Russian uh, message here. So it works. The, the message that we have um, displayed to user is localized. So um, this is how we add localization support for uh, string values in our um, Swift application. So if I wanted to localize alert message, I will do um, exactly the same. So I will create a new value and that will be um, uh, alert title and here I will be sign up page I'll success alert window title so that could be my key for uh, for the alert window and comment can be uh, empty or I could type a comment for my translator uh, something like alert uh, message title and now I will replace alert title here and I will go to localizable string for English first and I'll paste it and I will choose alert and I hit uh, semicolon and for the Russian language I will um, type something like um, uh, like this uh, okay and then I will uh, so now I have the message and the title of my alert uh, dialog window uh, localized so I will run this application again and see if it's working I'll hit on uh, button. Okay, now I have the title and the message uh, localized to Russian language. Okay, so uh, this is it now for this video.